Hello everyone, welcome to our Heroes Go video tutorial brought to you by ESCSoft Incorporated. In this segment, we'll be discussing the user interface and brief descriptions on what certain features do and where they're located. From there, we'll be diving right into character controls and movements. And on the top left, we have a standard uh, display feature. It, you, it states your, your level, your name, your character health pool, and mana pool. Over here we have the transformation gauge, however we'll talk more about that in depth at a later time. We have crystals, which correlate with how many crystals you have in your inventory. Um, but since that goes two and two together with the transformation gauge, we'll talk that we'll talk about that at a later segment. Over here you have life stones. Life stones are obtained through either quests or uh, very specific quests or the item shop. And as essentially, when you get knocked out or you actually die in a dungeon, this lifestone will revive you at the current spot you're at um, with full mana and health pool and transformation bar. So it's very useful for continuing a, a difficult dungeon rather than having to start all over again. Over here is just a little description of uh, what the controls are. By default, the uh, arrow keys will be your controls. Um, most of this can actually just be changed in the key settings. So you can set your controls to anything. Um, it allows you to be able to customize pretty effectively. And there's certain options we're going to add later on um, as the game goes closer to launch, such as gamepad functions and features. And so if we see up here, there's also a little buff that you're initially given. This is a, a bonus guild buff. Initially, all players will be involved or be included in a beginner's guide um, guild, and this can actually be um, accepted or denied. I mean, you don't have to stay in the uh, in the guild. However, to benefit from the buffs, you do need to be in the guild. Over here, this is the map of the actual dungeon. When you first start out the game, you're in a basic tutorial dungeon that allows you to learn certain. Um, uh, functions of the game. You can basically turn this off using uh, either the M hotkey which is the shortcut or the dungeon map right here. So if we go further down, this is a chat box, it's very standard in MMORPGs. They have different options where you can choose from. You can set which ones you want to see and you don't want to see. And you can you have the chance to be able to change the size as well. Over here you have the quick hotkey bar. Um, all of this is default starting out, however you can basically set them differently, you can move them, you can lock them. In key settings you can actually change these uh, letters and numbers to whatever you want, so it's fully customizable. Top right we have the map over here, you can reduce and enlarge the map, it's dependent on what you want to, um, how far you want to see or not. Over here there's a function called surrender, so in dungeons you have the ability to surrender the dungeon. Um, you forego receiving the rewards that you would receive if you completed the dungeon and you'll be penalized uh, uh, depending on um, what dungeon you, you actually surrender from. So in the tutorial surrendering will only surrender the rewards you would obtain if you completed it, so there will be no penalty at level 1. However. Uh, in normal dungeons, you'll be penalized by it being equivalent to dying and reviving in town. Over here is the options for anything community related and PvP oriented and the system options. Uh, PvP won't currently be available in CBT, however closer to launch we'll go ahead and start testing it. Over here you have the experience bar on, on the bottom. Uh, there's a percentage over here and it's dependent on this how many skill points you can acquire over here. And so basically that's combat and movement are all customizable. Um, you have certain attack combos that you can do using different methods. Like all of this will be explained in further segments however um, it's just something to get a feel for in the tutorial dungeon and to get your mind around what kind of play style you want to start um, really focusing on, because each player is different and each player will have a different play style in mind when they play uh, Heroes Go. So thank you guys for watching this segment. Uh, we'll continue creating more videos so you can 
uh, have the opportunities to see exactly what's involved and what could um, benefit you in the future.